Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the Skytech H101 RC boat. And now uh, this thing looks really good. I absolutely love the color and the design of it. And it's pretty nice. It's fast. Um, it does have self-writing, though I found the self-writing to be a little bit iffy. Um, and then a the real interesting thing with this one is it comes with like an air vehicle style controller instead of a typical ground vehicle style. So you've got your throttle and turning, uh, so that's a little bit interesting. Um, but it does have the um, nice back end where you've got the tabs on the side to help with turning and the metal tabs on the bottom to keep it nice and level as well as the offset rudder. Uh, so it turns nice and sharp in both directions and this thing stays solid as a rock. Um, I, the, my only chance, I've only run it one time so far and it was out on a pretty windy day and the water was pretty choppy and this thing was just gliding through it, no problem, just stayed super st uh, stable and flat on top of the water and it's got a good speed, uh, I'd say, let's see, it's about 30 kilometers per hour or about 19 miles per hour, uh, so pretty fast, pretty enjoyable, it's just a brushed motor, so... Um, you don't quite have the brushless speed, but it is plenty fast for what it is and plenty fast to be fun. Um, it does have water intake, so you've got this little hard plastic scoop on the bottom and then um, shoots it out the side there. And then this also has um, this safety system here where you've got this metal tab on the top and then you've got one on the bottom uh, where that has to be in the water uh, before the transmitter will bind. So you've got to turn on the transmitter, plug in your battery, and then put it in the water and then it'll activate and bind. Uh, so I would suggest testing that in the bathtub or pool or sink or something uh, first to make sure that it does sync up before you go throw it out in the lake. Uh, it comes with two batteries, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a two cell lithium ion battery uh, 1500 milliamp hours so if you got a lipo a 2s lipo um, though this plug type's a little bit hard to find you may have to uh, swap out the plugs uh, but a lipo may give you a little bit more speed uh, but lithium ion is pretty comparable to lipo so those are you know maybe just a little bit more speed not a huge significant difference uh, and then we've got a usb charger here that plugs into the balance plug to charge Looks like we've got one spare rotor uh, or prop in there. And then we've got a tool for whatever reasons and then some oil to lube the shaft. Uh, the battery takes about an hour and a half to charge and you get about six to seven minute run times. I mean, like I usually say with these boats, it's kind of hard to average it out because it all depends on you know how fast you're running it. But you should see about six minutes on average. Uh, we'll go back to the transmitter here. So the one thing I thought was kind of cool is you've got your throttle trim and steering trim on these buttons up here. Uh, so that makes it really easy to just kind of trim it out while you're driving. You don't have to stop and mess with a little knob. Uh, so, you know, really easy to trim it while you're, while you're actually using it. Um, but like I said, the, uh, the only problem I had with it is the self-writing. So... I forget, the manual says something weird, like you're supposed to hold up for a little bit, then hold down for a little bit, and then hold up. Um, but I couldn't really figure out a good method to it. I just kind of kept going back and forth for between back and up and back and up. Um, actually, I'm on the wrong stick. You want to do it with the throttle, not, not the uh, control stick. So yeah, throttle, back and forth. So, you know, the motor is basically... Ooh, sorry about that. The motor is basically, you know, keeps changing directions, and so that torque is supposed to kind of help the boat roll over. Um, but, you know, like I said, I was out on a windy day and the water was pretty choppy. And so I think that was kind of keeping it from wanting to self-write. Um, but after I kept doing it for a while, it finally did write itself. And I would imagine it would work much better in, a, you know, on a calm condition with not a bunch of waves and stuff. Uh, but it did eventually work and it does have the features. So I, I'm a big fan of that. That makes, you know, running an RC boat super stress-free. You don't have to worry about going out to swim after it or having a rescue boat or anything. Uh, so I'm still a big fan. And like I said, I think it just looks super cool. I think it is just a really nice looking boat. Uh, let's see. Anything else to say about this one? 
Um, nope, that looks like that about covers it. And again, like I said, I was out on a windy day, so uh, there's quite a bit of wind noise in my hat cam footage of the run video. Uh, so I apologize for that, but hopefully you can still hear what I'm saying well enough and it doesn't annoy you. So <laughs> let's uh, go check it out. All right, this is the run review of the Skytech H101 high-speed racing boat. Pretty cool looking thing. I think this is going to be pretty fun. And it does not sink up until it's in the water, so hopefully this works out. I've got the transmitter on, the boat's plugged in, so work. Yep, there it's synced up. Whoa, it's already pretty fast. Pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. Look how smooth that is. Wow. Nice. Turns, whoa! <laughs> Turns faster to the left than to the right. It's still pretty tight turn us to the right. Man, look how solid it is though. I'm already a big fan of this thing. Steering trim is on the shoulder buttons on the top of the transmitter, so it's really easy to trim it out while you're actually driving it. That's pretty cool. Man, I really like this thing. Smooth and solid, sounds good, looks good. on it. Alright, let's try to get it back without getting a bunch of seaweed on it, hopefully. Yeah, nice and clean. Can go ahead and throw it in upside down and try the self-writing feature. Let's get a seaweed here. Alright, so you're supposed to hold the right stick up. Backward, forward. Uh, <laughs> not working too well. Oh, almost. The yeah, the wind may be messing with it, trying to rotate into the. There it goes. Yeah, I think the wind and the current was probably making it a little tricky, but you just kind of have to work the torque until it kind of rocks itself back and forth. So maybe didn't quite work as well as some of the other self-riding ones, but it did work, so enough to feel safe. Thing looks good. I like the red and black look to it. I like this one. It's pretty cool. That's the Skytech H101 high-speed racing boat. Pretty cool, I like it. The uh, self-riding was a little bit iffy, but I think that may just be due to the choppiness of the water and the wind. Um, but it did eventually do it, so it works. All right, we'll check the video description for price and purchase link. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.